From VOA Learning English, this is the Agriculture Report. A new report says genetically modified or GM crops would greatly improve agriculture in Africa. The policy group Chatham House released the report. It says African governments are unlikely to approve GM crops because opponents are spreading fear about its possible dangers. Rob Bailey is a writer of the report. He says opponents have created anti-GM campaigns based on misinformation. He says they claim a link between GM and cancer, reproductive problems, or other health concerns. But Mr. Bailey says there is no evidence to support the claims. And he says GM crops offer the best hope of increasing productivity and dealing with climate change in Africa. Opponents of GM crops also argue that they are costly to grow. They say they do not produce more than non-GM crops. They say GM crops require more use of chemicals than traditional crops. And they say companies that support GM crops are more interested in making money than in helping poor farmers grow more crops. Tete Narte grows papa, maize, and vegetables near the Ghanaian capital, Accra. This year, Ghana approved a test of GN grains like cowpeas. Mr. Narte disagrees with that decision. He argues that anything non-natural has risks. He also says there is not enough research into GM crops. Ghana's government says it has put strong laws in place to guard against problems from GM crops. Bernard Gurry works at Ghana's Center for Indigenous Knowledge. He is worried that GM crops could force many of Africa's millions of small farms to stop growing food. For VOA Learning English, I'm Carolyn Prasuti.